suppose I'd best stop stitching then if we're live. <laughs> quick, get a bit more done. Quick, quick, quick. Good morning, how are you? Welcome to Natasha Makes. It is Tuesday, which means it is Textile Tuesday, which means, well, basically we've got fabrics. Is that right, Jim? Fabricy things. Gemma's in the corner. I am. Nobody puts baby in the corner, but we do put Gemma in the corner. Always. Always. <laughs> Um, right, uh, we have got beautiful fabrics for you today in kits. I know you love a kit. We have got English paper piecing. Um, we have got some fabulous, rather fabulous bargains for you as well, which um, I'm not going to lie, we love. Yeah. Yeah, we really do. It's as simple as that. Uh, we've got lots of stitching to do, lots of cutting to do, lots of... Um, yeah. All the things. Got all the thing. All the things. That Gemma. All the things. <laughs> um, and we're going to make eventually this, but in a different colourway. So this is. Oh, look, it's just got the rainbow zip on it. <laughs> Who doesn't love a rainbow zip? Uh, no one I know. No. Or want to be friends with. No. That's for sure. Um, so <laughs> this is your rainbow pouch today. I say rainbow pouch. We didn't call it a rainbow pouch, did we? We called it the bishop's, bishop's hat, hat pouch. Do you know why it's the bishop's hat pouch? Shall I show you? Because, ladies and gentlemen, these are bishop's hats. That that is a bishop's hat, and three of those make up one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, it's good. Yeah, there we go. Thought it was. Thought I'd double check. That is what I called it in the instructions. <laughs> you know, you suddenly go, it's not pentagon, is it? Did I just like completely. No, no, no. It makes up a hexagon. <laughs> hexagon. That's. You should know your shapes. You taught maths for a bit, right? <sighs> Do you know what? I know. I know. <laughs> so here's the thing your kit will make front and back, inside, outside, you zip everything, right? But if you are savvy, Gemma, we're quite savvy around and you here. want to make two mm -hmm. and you're using the scraps because you know otherwise you're eating into another kit and I know that the Odeal Bio we're really limited on stock with mm -hmm. you can always just put a plain back on I say plain what I actually mean is something like a mode of grunge or whatever and that's for you to decide so we've always got options always got options but if you and then you could do two um, you might need a bit more zip yeah, it's a goodly bit of zip, but that's extra pull. Yeah. Um, they're all available. The kit will make one fully. Should we say good morning to everybody? That'd be nice. Because I feel it? that I have been rude and remiss. <laughs> rude and remiss. I all don't think hours. you've neglected for long enough to qualify as rude and remiss. Two minutes. Two minutes in, I haven't said hello. Okay. You know, I've got standards, Jim. You have. I've got standards. I mean, no one said they were high. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have standards. <laughs> Who do we have this morning? Joan and Diane. Good morning. Enjoy. Oh, gosh. I, I've got to get rid of these captions. Sorry. I don't know why it does it every morning. Uh, morning, Vicky. Morning, Sylv. She says, good morning, gorgeous peeps. I've taken the day off today, so you're on the big telly box. I do like to be on the big telly box. Uh, Margaret, good morning. Is it a happy corner? Uh, over here? Will there be corner Lovely. shenanigans? I think as Gemma is chief shenanigator, wow. there are always... There's corner biscuits. I've had to put them in the drawer so that you don't hear munch, munch, crunch, munch, munch, and there'll be crumbs everywhere. So oh no, did you go in my snack drawer? I've, I've thrown them in the snack drawer and then shut it really quickly. So you didn't peruse not looking. my snack drawer? No, not looking. You sure? Yeah. Not looking. Okay, I'm not hungry at the moment. Haven't been since I had the vid, Weird. have I? It's Weirdo. just odd. Yeah, I know you're wasting away. Morning, Pat. <laughs> Morning, Debbie. Um, oh, hang on. New to us. Who's new to us? Oh, Aww. Leslie's new to us. Good morning, Leslie. Welcome to the madness uh, that is Natasha Good morning. Um, Myra says, I have to watch later. Look at me, lol, going out in my car all on my own. Today is a good day. Mm. Ooh. Do you know what? Sometimes. Sun's out as well around here. Sometimes. A bit of a sunny drive. Nice. I just get in my car and I just go. Yeah, I do. Roof down, wind in my hair, down the road. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a, <laughs> no, I don't have a roof off car anymore. No, you don't. And I feel, I, I think I'd be a bit scared after oh. rolling one. Well, yes. I don't think I would. I, but I used to have my little MX5 and my Spaniel by my side. <laughs> in the age of 24, ears that, flapping that in was, the wind. Yeah, that was yeah. how Arthur and I used to roll. Love His it. His little ears would be flapping, and we used to go everywhere together. He was a proper yeah. little sidekick. Um. Not anymore, I've got a mum bus now. Morning Heather, morning uh, <laughs> uh, Anne. Have you found us? What, what, what? 
Where? Have you found them on there? They're that there on oh, your phone. Oh, this there here. Yeah, yeah I found think you. so. It's like what under the desk. Well, I think so. Well, there. Uh, <laughs> Where maybe. are you? Maybe. <laughs> Can't believe I'm sat down and ready, says Valerie. One dog at creche, the puppy sleeping. Bliss. Oh, good. Well done. You. Sounds marvellous. Well done, you. Uh, hi Pam, hi Rebecca. Inspired to do some EPP myself this morning. Rebecca, do it. Absolutely love a bit of EPP. Right, yeah, yeah, it's oh. been quite relaxing. I have to say, I did take this on holiday with me to try and do some. Then forgot that actually with two children and a beach nearby, I was never actually going to get a chance to sit down. It was the beach really, wasn't it? And glue goes, yeah, sand gets in the glue. If really you'd have gone idea. somewhere where they were going to entertain themselves, you know, like a soft play or something, you could have happily stitched away for hours. And people I hate do. soft play, I'm just getting it out no, there. No, 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 agreed, play. same. But if you'd have gone somewhere where they entertain themselves, you'd have been fine. But water, sand, etc., you were needed, weren't you? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, oh. I just need to clarify why I hate soft play. Um, I always used to want to go to soft play as a kid. It mm -hmm. was just starting to become a thing when I was growing up. My mum uncle owned a soft play place. I didn't but know he lived it was in Bradford, a thing. so I never actually got one. Okay. Got to go. Um, and then secondly, since being a parent, I hate soft play because they always come out having licked the balls or yeah. something um, in the ball pit, and I think it's just like a it's a breeding ground for sickness bugs. Yeah. Megan's first birthday, we both had the most revolting sickness bug because we've been to soft play for Beautiful. the first time a few Ever. days before. Ever. Yeah. Although there was a time when I was babysitting my friend's twins who were two or three. Mm. I had them and Freddie at a soft play. Mm. Wow. You can't... <laughs> like, <laughs> you, I, I don't have enough eyes for small twins and a third, I don't know, any mother of three, hats off to you, until one got his foot stuck in the rope. You know, the, oh, okay. yeah. I will admit to taking a little while to get there to rescue him, because for a moment yeah. I knew where one of them was. Yeah. And then, as an adult, you've got to try and climb through the soft play. Yeah, yeah. Now, you see, you'd struggle with oh. that. I was always the nominated parent that had to go into the soft play being five foot and a fag end tall. Yeah. So I went in the once, and... Another, another parent was in there as well, and it was all the parents from nursery. Big birthday party, and all the parents are sat having tea and cake and being very civilised. Yeah. And myself and Paul are in, and in the soft play trying to help the kids that have got stuck. And we're at the top of the death drop slide, which was never in Ooh, use for reasons. That, for reasons. You know, yeah. you can understand with the name. Yeah. But it was open. And the kids were all wanting to go on it, and we're pushing them away, going, no, you're not allowed on it, no. My daughter. And, uh, Sorry, Dan, oh. And it's literally like a sheer drop. Yeah, yeah, and terrifying. I said to Paul, I went, ha, ha, if you'll do it, I will. And he went, fair enough, and threw himself <laughs> down the slide. Got to the bottom and went, watch this, ladies. Of course, I'm then at the top. Uh, I have no choice. Got to go, got to go. I screamed. But I was that mum after that, the death yeah. drop slide mum. <laughs> nice. Karen says she's looking for her first EPP project. Oh. I'm hoping this is it. Well, we hope it is too, because it's rather gorgeous. Karen, as somebody who took up EPP, because Tash, you know, told Maybe. me I needed to do this, um, I, I'm so annoyed that I didn't start EPPing earlier because I just love it. I absolutely love it. Do Get you know all what? the right bits of kits and you will have Do you know what my so many is? hours of joy. My annoyance is that I didn't start EPPing with hexaforms. Yeah, no, exactly. exactly. And I did it with paper. Yeah. An English paper piece, card, obviously, yeah. you know, traditionally is done with paper, mm -hmm. but we use hexaforms, which means that you can, you can just do that as yeah. a quilt and then just back it. You have to, you know, it's, uh, anyway, we will get on to that. We're still yeah. saying hello. Janet says, yeah, I'm on time. Hi, ladies. So glad to Aww. be on time. Love the little winds of COVID. <laughs> uh, but don't love COVID. Looking forward to watching live. Well, you're like a stone and a half down, aren't you, Jem? I'm, yeah, I'm just over a stone down, yeah. 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 I'm just not hungry. It's oh. really, I'm, I'm making myself eat. Don't get me wrong, ladies. No one needs to worry. Oh, hang but, on. Um, Lowe says, don't <laughs> let me forget my boiled eggs. We'll remind you. Oh, good oh. That was three minutes ago. How long do you want them boiling for, Lo? Sylv, Sylv, Sylv. She <laughs> says, no, 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 no hand sewing. Sylv, do you think oh. I hand sewed any of that? No, she didn't. Watch this. Watch this space. <laughs> hand sewing, is your machine broken? Low again, watch this space. No hand sewing. You have that option, I'm busy, so no. Uh, morning, Sandra. Oh, Scotch eggs. I know, they're on the Scotch Egg conversation again. I love Scotch Egg. What is it with us? We d we, we've just found our tribe. They're all foodies at this time in the morning, like we are. <laughs> oh, no, it's just sadly <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Bit of mayonnaise? Oh, I, I'm not an egg person anyway. I'm, oh, I'm not in well the then clan. Do not, do not get involved. <laughs> oh. But there was the day when Jane down at the calf did make her own homemade uh, Scotch eggs and they were divine. I D think John Carl Morgan took two. He uh, had one for yeah. each hand, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, Lisa, Lisa Chandler, hi 
my lovely ladies, Natasha and Chinese per takeaway. Perfect combo. Now, obviously, we need to explain that Lisa lives in uh, in Australia. So, although actually, I do quite like leftover Chinese for breakfast. I'm not going to lie. That monosodic glutamate Always, uh, little yeah. fix. Morning, Audra. How lovely to have you with us. Um, and we've got Gay and Carol and... Oh, salad cream with eggs. Yes. Oh, now that's... Oh, Gemma, stop making that face. Eggs for brekkie. You can't go wrong with eggs for brekkie. Um, good morning, Julia. Uh, no patience for hand sewing unless absolutely necessary. Guys, 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 Time guys, place, guys, stop guys. dissing the hand sewing. <laughs> you don't have to hand sew with these. Time that is the beauty. Yeah. That is place. the beauty. You will notice that my prep is on my sewing machine. Yeah. I've got the little DX out today because I need a zigzag stitch because I'm not hand sewing. You can. And don't get me wrong, I hand sewed and EPP'd an entire blanket for Emily. Like, I've done my time. Got you through many a hospital appointment, that, didn't it? <sighs> many Indeed. a waiting room. Many, many, many. Um, but today, I'm going to show you how to do it without... What you? I'll show you with and without. With, Mine is with, when I'm away, in the caravan or whatever. Yeah, anywhere yeah. where I can't take my sewing machine, then I still get my sewing fixed. Get that, and that's the thing. Fixed. Yeah. Right, so, um, let us... Go through the very basics of EPP for anybody who um, egg and sausage sandwich. Right. Okay. Stop getting distracted by food. You can go to the calf afterwards. First, you've got to do the job thing. Yeah, you know. She turns off the egg pan at eleven. <laughs> Stitch faster then. Can we, can we phone through an order? Can Honestly, we phone the look on order? John's face when we took him down to the cafe, John Cole Morgan, and he asked for uh, something with egg in his sandwich, and she went. Turn off the pan at 11. <laughs> See they them? still do sausage and bacon if you've got some left over. But the egg pan do is Do you know off. what I asked her for instead? I got her to put some egg <laughs> mayo in instead with me egg and sausage. Uh, I never forget the time that you decided you wanted the equivalent of a full English in a bap and they couldn't do it. But then you saw there was some quiche. So you had a great lump of quiche as your egg. <laughs> yeah, quiche, sausage and bacon. And a quiche like in one hand and a sausage and bacon bap in the other hand. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> just kept taking a bite of each. There's nothing wrong. What's wrong with that? You just make me laugh. It's just like I'm resourceful. If oh. Nothing else. Resourceful. Um, <laughs> right. Shall I show you the kits? Because they are a bit gorgeous. And then we'll talk Bishop's hats. We'll do that, shall we? Let me just clear the decks. Um, Gemma, we need to order some more Soline glue pens. Well, ask me how I know. We can see them, aren't we? Mm. Now, hexiforms, we have used a lot. <coughs> so this bag made of hexiforms. That was the diamonds. This bag made of hexiforms. They're fabulous. They're really, really fabulous. So if you've not used them before, mm, they're kind of an interfacing. They're fluffy on one side, woven on the other. I don't really know any other way to describe them apart from fabulous. We stock all sorts of different sizes um, and they are rather fabulous. Now, I've got, some, I've got some fabulous kits. I've also got some new fabrics, which you are going to love. And if not, what's wrong with you? Um, Oh, that sounded very judgy, judgy, didn't it? What's wrong with you not loving the gorgeous fabric? <laughs> Everybody loves the gorgeous fabric. This is kit numero, well, it doesn't really matter, one or two. It's fabulous. So, 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 these are your pre-cut hexaform bishops hats. They are base length, two inch, side length, one inch. So, okay. And you get in there this which is a template if you want to make sure that you cut every single one the same. Ask me if I used it, Jim. Did you use it? No. No. Eyeballed it, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Um, you are going to get a half a metre of very gorgeous zipper do. Yes, 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 yes. Now, um, I love me a bit of Tilda. And I, I find that I gravitate towards a bit of Tilda. Yes, 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 yes. There's just certain projects that look exceptional in Tilda, though, and EPP is one of them. Always. We love a bit so of Tilda free EPP. What I've done is. Did we do fat eights? We did, didn't we? Yeah. We've done six fat eights, which are these, and I sort of divvied them up into two different colourways. So you've got like your tealy ones, which are tealy good, and then. <laughs> no apologies for that. And then you've got your ready pinky ones there. Okay. Now you might be wondering, what's this under here? Right, um, Tilda's red is impossible to match. Mm. Really hard. But luckily, I have some of Tilda's very own red fabric. 
She does her own planes and they're absolutely gorgeous. And this is it. This is it. So this will be half a metre of this is going to be your lining fabric. Or if you want to do two of these, then that could be your backing fabric and your lining fabric. It's up to you. You choose. And we have some remaining cotton beach tilde cut to order as well if you wanted a patterned back. Oh, if you wanted a patterned back. Yeah, 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 yeah. you could. You could, you could put some a little tilde, bit more um, for, tilde. A, for a back cover. It's up to you. Um, but as this stands... Now, also, the thing is, because you will, you'll get a bit more than one front on this. Look, I've still got... I've nearly finished doing my second front and I've still got all of these. I haven't actually looked to see if you can make a second. We'll investigate that situation, Gemma, in a minute. Mm. Um, but so certainly you'll get either either two fronts or a front and a back, depending on how you want to do it. It's entirely up to you. Um, the instructions show you how to do a front and a back. The same. That's what the instructions will do. You might not need it. If you know how to make a pouch, you won't need it. It's fine. Um, but here they are. This is kit number one. And to give you an idea, Oh, I can't give you an idea of what it's going to look like because it's on my sewing machine still. Gemma, can you tell everyone about what happened to you last night while I just finish it off very, very quickly? What, on the telly? Yeah, oh, Gemma, on the telly. Really? Well, Gemma's not actually on the telly. Okay. Yeah. So, did anyone watch Long Lost Family last night? It was really, really harrowing, actually, to be fair, that programme, because it was about... Oh, it always has me in tears. Yeah, and it, this was a special um, about children that were sent to Australia. Um, and they were perhaps children in children's homes or that had come from poor families. And the, the premise was they were going to Australia for a better life. And invariably, that wasn't the case. Um, but Dorian, it followed, it followed two families, basically, the, the story last night. And Dorian was one of the children who, you know, who's now very grown up and living in Australia. And he was the son of my husband's uh, great grandfather. And you had no idea? Not until the end of last year when we heard that, uh, yeah, there was, there was another Thomas um, somewhere that had, had popped up. And, yeah, he, his whole story was on last night. So Guy was sat there, you know, mouth wide open and there's photographs of great-granddad Thomas coming up. And he, he lived with Guy when Guy was a little boy, you know. His father's grandfather lived with them for a while when he was a little boy. Um, so this and was all new to him. He didn't know. He well, yeah, he hadn't known that, you know, poor George had had this son, and and as it turned out, really loved him, really wanted to be with the mother, and couldn't be, and and all of this, and it was that's, just that's so sad, isn't it? And just I'm so glad we don't live in those kind of times where that has to be the case anymore. No, absolutely. Um, and yeah, he. He, he was just sat there with his mouth open. It was incredible. So I oh, guess Julie said it was really sad. It was. I really hope we can reach out to him. He's in Perth. He seems really happy now. He's got a lovely family. Holidays. Uh, he, <laughs> sorry, did I say that? <laughs> We've got loads of friends in Australia as well. When we Holidays. can afford to go, Elisa. we will want to go. Like when we can afford to, I'm it will be a thing to do. I'm coming too. Amazing. Um, but yeah, so just invite myself on your family. He holiday. looks. Just, <laughs> you'd always be welcome. He looks just like my father-in-law, but with a little moustache and glasses. It's <sighs> just. Brilliant. So ears, mannerisms, all sorts lot. of things. Isn't it weird? Genetics yeah. are a very funny and thing. I suppose he's my father-in-law's uncle, even though he's a year younger than my father-in-law. Yeah, that happens in um, But yeah, so Fabulous. it was just a bit surreal. Yeah, yeah. So that was last night. Um, so <laughs> this is what we're making today. Beautiful. Look at that. This gives you an idea. Um, I've got two more side bits to add on, so I want to show you different techniques to do that. But you can see how you've got the reds, you've got the teals, um, and how that just sort of divides everything up um, whilst just giving a beautiful all-round pattern. So that's going to be the front of mine, um, and that is what that kit equates to. Let me pop that to the one side there. Then there is the Odile version. And that's um, what I made mine from, but slightly different because, 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 because this is the very, very, la look at that next to the rainbow. Uh, this is the very last of these fabrics. They're beautiful because they're, they're almost, um, oh, what's the word I want? Um, Cotton lawn, but not quite. Oh, lovely. Mm. So again, we've got yellows here and then we've got teals here. But look at this. This is your lining fabric. Oh, 
yes 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 which pulls out all the pinks and the reds in there that is your lining or or gorgeous or if you want that to be your back you'd get two backs out of that and then just get yourself a bit of plain cotton yeah, just plain lining. lining yeah so you've got all of the options because that would be rather lovely just on the back but i didn't have enough to do that no. so i went with some um what did i use Oh, you used some mode of grunge on the I back. Did mode of grunge. And um, it was, yeah, fabulous. We are Starry getting very low on stars. our mode of grunges. By well, the way. they have been phenomenally popular since but, I well, put them They have. Order. And here, they, this is all that we've got left of them now. Yeah, and that is little skiddly bit up there. Oh, and those four there. That's all that we have, and then they're gone. So. Um, we used to keep these back for kits, didn't we? Because we did. Because they're just the most amazing blenders. They are. Um, they are now up cut to order they are. by the half metre. So the thing with it is when they're gone, they're gone because they're just so unreliable to get them in. It really is difficult. And they don't send them all at once. It's been a bit of a nightmare. So we've kind of taken the decision because you remember I ordered, I ordered a load for the sea storm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Still waiting for, for backing, it. you know. So, um, so it's one of those yeah. things that it makes it really difficult to run a business when you don't know when stuff's coming in. No. So my decision was there are there are some things that we will keep, some things that we won't. And it breaks my heart a bit that Moda Grunge won't be ones that we keep. But there we go. So grab them quick and pop them yeah. in your stash as a blender. Yeah, yeah. That is what I am doing. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you saw me yesterday. Oh, I'm going to have a bit of this one and a bit of this one because... They just, they do, they're like the bumbleberries for me. They just blend in so beautifully. Well, yeah, of things. absolutely. Um, and that's, so the mode of grunges, for those of you that have never seen them, we've got a few varieties of them. Um, we've got the seeing stars, which are any with the stars on. And then we've also got just the, the grungy, spot. grungy <laughs> ones. Um, and again, they just, they are, Gemma's right, they are just the most perfect blenders because... Mm they've got all the colours in they have and they don't the look like in. it you get near and yeah and when you put other things with them different parts pop it, they're just magical but they are they really are so to give you an idea which is fine is if they arrive <laughs> so yeah so to give you an idea like this one here i love the richness of this one oh, it's, it's just christmas beautiful. On so this fabric. is your you're seeing stars yeah um with the gold with the metallic but 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 um oh Gosh, if I show you this one, I've only got a couple of units of this left. This is the raspberry, seeing as large raspberry grunge. And you've got purples and all sorts to mm. pull out in there. So, but if you're after just a plainish grunge, then you see this is also fabulous because look at all the different greens in there. They're just, they're just wonderful, really, really wonderful. Now, let me show you what else is wonderful because I put it on a special offer. These came in yesterday, so I thought for today's show, because you're using fat eights, or you can use fat eights, I want to show you these. How many have we got here? 32? Yeah. 32 fat eights. That equates to, what, four metres, four yards of fabric. Mm -hmm. It's motor, so it's yards. And this is, now mine, obviously, Gemma. <laughs> That's uh, Gemma, please adjust the stock. <sighs> I yep. better had And quick. this is Love Note by... I want to yes. say Lella Boutique. It is. So it's a lady called Vanessa Gertsen for Lella Boutique. And she says that every collection that she's designed told a story. Um, right. This one she's done as a message of love for her grandmother. Hence she's oh. called it Love Note. And her grandmother was called Marguerite. Marguerite. So she's... Her, her grandmother loved flower gardens, painting, readings and books by Louisa May Alcott. So she's taken... Oh, we all have a bit of Louisa M. Alcott. Yeah, so she's, she's taken... Um, Sweet daisies, rosies, hearts, herring bones, and just really pretty pinks, dusty blues, earthy greens. And she's also put within that, I think there's some pages of writing. Yeah, there, there are pages go, of writing. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. are pages from her grandma's antique copy of Rose in Bloom. Oh, So she gorgeous. says, she hopes this love note finds its way into everyone's heart. Oh, which wow. Which I just think is so sweet. Excuse me, it's just sniffing. gorgeous. You've got your hearts on white there. Um, they yeah. are very, very lovely. And, and it's Moda, such do you a know, beautiful quality. It is beautiful quality. Do you know what I would be doing with this? Gemma Lala. What would you be doing with this? I would just be using this. I would be making an EPP blanket out of yeah. this. Because. 
And you've got a quilt there, haven't you? You have. No. You've got you've got a quilt. You've got four yards of fabric here. Forget trying to choose fabrics that go. <laughs> you've got the whole lot. It's there. You've got the whole lot. And I would just patchwork it. It doesn't need no. to be anything other than just a patchwork. I say just a patchwork because that you've got the greens, you've got your pinks, you've got your cream, so you've got your light tones, medium tones, dark tones. They are absolutely stunning. And that's what I would be doing all over the shop. We get so many requests for, can you help me choose fabrics that match and all of this? And, and we, we happily do it on the regular. But there's nothing like a pre-cut bundle like this to give you a usable amount of fabric. Just stunning. Lots of different prints for an affordable price. Just stunning. And I have put that on a special offer today. Just we for have. today. So for today, we've taken £10 off. We have. Just today. We've taken £10 off um, for today, should you wish. Now, here's the other thing, right? You can buy this and get your half metre of fabric for free if you use the code. Right. We need to also have a little conversation about the codes. All right, we can only offer one deal at a time. And we've had a few, a little bit of confusion with this. So one deal at a time, because we had someone that wanted the 20% off and a free half meter. And I'm like, come on guys, we're a small business. Let's just, let's just be really real about this. Um, and then the other thing is, I completely accept that you guys are gonna do 50 pound order, you know, if you've got like two, uh, 100 pound order, 50 pound and 50 pound and get two half meters of fabric. I totally, totally, yep, 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 that's fine. But please don't ask us to then combine your post. Yeah. Like, come on, uh, let's be really, really fair about this because we are a small business. We don't have multi-million pound backers or anything like that. We are just a small business trying we to give you the, the best that we can. We don't have either. the buying power that they have. With the We're huge just discounts. trying to, do something nice for you guys. So um, absolutely, if you're spending £100, of course split it, but we can't combine your postage. Like, come on, let's be fair. Yeah. Um, because yeah. otherwise <coughs> we just, we make nothing. We've had requests where someone sent, said spent 50, yeah, 150, so they're getting free postage and they're saying, can I have three free half metres? Well, we still do have to package that yeah, and post do. it and yeah. it costs a lot of money yeah, for us to send it. We'll send you a half metre. And, and like, you know, no you criticism. Know. Everyone no, no. loves a trier. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but, but, but please don't be offended if Yeah, that's, that's all it is. is, is, is we're, yeah. not, we're not telling you off. We're just saying we're, what we can afford to do and what we can't afford to do. And I, I think, think that's um, fair. I think most people know how super generous we are. And, you know, we, we have to we'll do, do very generous things We always do what we can. We will, of course. So yeah, and, and what I'm saying is by all means, take advantage of the deal, but please don't take advantage of us. No. Um, that's all. Which the vast majority don't. No, of course not. And yeah, always ask. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask. Just, but don't be but offended if we say no. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> there we go. Right, that is your love notes. <clears throat> they are rather, rather fabulous. Uh, now the other one bundle that we've got, instead of taking money off, we've done something a little bit different with this. And you will get, I feel bad that I haven't actually done one of these myself. Do you know why? Because a little, nephew, little William Walter, yeah. or Willy Wally as I like to call him. <laughs> uh, a big tag in the middle of there. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> he's um, he's growing a pace. I haven't met him yet, so I haven't met him. Aww. They've been here, there and everywhere. But there, yeah, so uh, I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. What a brilliant make as well, because it's just done for you. Absolutely. <laughs> you just bag All that you need out to do. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or sandwich I, it and bind it. Yeah. But you're getting that free when you buy your... Is this a 33 piece? That's isn't it? a one piece bigger. It's 69.99, but that panel in front of you, Natasha, it's is coming for free. Pounds. It's 15.99. 15.99. Yeah. You're getting that for free. Yeah. So that's that is your your and deal to do. And your free jour. half meter. And your free half now meter. Now that one you can combine because yeah. I've made that product. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You want the deal and, of and the day? Also, there it is. <laughs> like, you know, if if you know the the free half meter is non-returnable. Like it just it's it's yeah. it's your free half meter, and we will try and put in fabric you know we love all our fabric here so it's never an issue and we did have one person say well it's not to my taste it's a free it's half a free meter gift. use it for Pay somebody it else who's yeah who's um who's taste it might be make it make a charity make yeah do something nice do with some it good pass absolutely. it forward yeah absolutely gift it to someone i mean that still has a value then mm. of course know, it does lovely. absolutely absolutely yeah. um and actually some like scrap bags and stuff like that i always love because always there's fabric mm. in there that i wouldn't necessarily have chosen for myself i'm like oh actually lovely 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 right okie dokie dokie let's have a look then <laughs> we have some lovely messages <laughs> I think most people are on the same page as us and they ah. get it, which is lovely. 
Um, we also, I'm just going to go back a little bit into the comments. Um, we had a mention from Julia. She was saying about, oh, I'm gonna have a sip of we've had people say they don't love hand sewing. Um, but they'll happily sit and crochet for hours on end. And Julia says, well, it's not so painful as hand sewing. The pointy end doesn't make my fingers bleed. Oh, no, you so just need one of the one of the exactly. finger things. Exactly. Natasha really helped me with this because I've got arthritis in my fingers. And I really struggled because you know, I'm not, you know, I'm a softie. Natasha's out there with the horses. She's got quite, you know, sturdy hands. Mine, however, quite delicate. Too much hand cream on. All right, all right. <laughs> so I'm the same. We pointy needle. That used to hurt. Tash has put me onto the colonial products and I will go and quickly grab them. I'll pop myself my on mute. Oh, it's just it's in front of your oh in front of your laptop. There's my EPP bag. This one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, actually it's my bag. Because this bag. is this is the thing. This is what you need in your life for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Right, so um, <clears throat> is this. So these are my ones. And they're just they're fabulous. So and you can get them with uh, metal, or these are just, these are like suede patches. And what you do with them, dee -dee -dee -dee, is you take one off, and where you, um, where it starts to feel sore, you just put it on there. Because that's, that I always push through with that, with that. And then when you're done with it, I just take it off and stick it on my sewing machine. And they last and last and last, and last and last and last. What else have I got in there? All sorts of goodies. Hmm. Good job. Um, right, so. And you can just wear them. I've done the school run and gone, oh, still got it. Whoops. Forgot. So, <laughs> let's have a look at how we're going to lay this pouch out. Okay, because, because, because. Um, these go together, like I say. Like so. And you are going to try when you lay these out to do them either fluffy sides up or fluffy side down, but be consistent is what I would say. And so you're going to do some rows like that. And I would do all of those would be the same fabrics, all of those would be the same fabrics, and all of those would be the same fabrics. And that's how. Um, how it builds up, builds up, you can see here. So I've done three lines here. All of these are the same, all of those are the same, and those are all the same. Same here, dink, 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 dink. And yeah, it's just, it's just being consistent. And this is the same row as that, and it's consistent. Um, so that's, that's how you're gonna build up your rows. Now, here's the thing, right? Because, then we get to the edges. Mm -hmm. Gemma, I am frugal. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Same here. So, this is how this is going to go. My northern mother has taught me well. I know. Frugling away. Frugal. We don't waste. Not all wasteful. over the place. And I've got to remember now how I frugaled. <laughs> exactly how I went about frugling everywhere. Oh, how did I do this? How did I do this? Um, right. So, that went in there, that went in there. <laughs> Sylph says, I can't hand sew. I once mended a nighty and the seam looked like it had been chewed by a bulldog. <laughs> oh no! I love that. I'm looking at this beautiful pattern you're making. I would have frugaled in a different fashion. <laughs> how would you have frugaled? I'd have turned them so that I was creating a straight side. But I don't know how many columns you're doing. Yeah, but you can't. No, oh. It doesn't, it doesn't work like oh. that. It doesn't fit it's in. It's intriguing. It, it doesn't fit in. You end up with that. Doesn't work. Honestly, oh. Jane and I sat spinning stuff for hours and hours going, uh, what's the best way? And this was the best <laughs> way that I came up to frugal Amazing. all over the shop. Just so that you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, do you know what though? It's brilliant that you've just moved those around because you sit here and you look and uh, we're, in my head I'm doing what you've done then. Like, that's got to work, no. <laughs> I'm swooshing it around this way and that. Oh, <laughs> hello, Jane Alcock. <laughs> Jane Alcock, you're on holiday. <laughs> Do you know what she's doing? She's messaging what? on our work admin WhatsApp. Jane! <laughs> and I'm like, how dare she be messaging when she's on her holiday? How, why is she trying to help with work? What, do you know what it says? What? 
Um, please, can you reserve me a love notes fat tapes bundle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. She's then, shopping. <laughs> She's shopping. <laughs> shopping with us. Go on then, Jane. All right, my darling, you can have one. Right. We'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, there are still some gaps, right? Yes, yes? Yeah. Okay. So, Sorry, here's what me. we are going to do. <laughs> we are going to take the bottom off this one. Jane knows a quilt when she sees one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to put it up there. Yeah? And we'll do that over here as well. We'll take the bottom off. And this is why it's important that they are all going in the same direction. So I've got fluffy side up. Can you see, Jim? What is beautiful. occurring? Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And then this one is going to go in half. Lo's asking, are the top ones right? She's quite confused. I think she's thinking that they should be the same as the bottom ones, but the other way around. And then this one fits in there. This is amazing. This is like, you know. <laughs> it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Wow. And honestly, and then it goes into there. <laughs> Jane fired that first message off with no kisses. She was clearly in a hurry. Oh, quick, quick, I've got to get one. Yeah. And then reply, two kisses and a blowing kiss emoji. Oh, all the kisses, now. all the love. <laughs> and so that's how you square it all off. And this one was, I cut the base off like I did with that one and moved it to the top. So that's sitting in there. Can you see? In there like that. Beautiful. And they came off the bottom there. All right. Does that make sense? Fabulous. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Julia, it, I, I feel that hand sewing has been her nemesis at times. Oh, no. She says <laughs> that the little patches won't stop me pricking my finger with the other end. You put one on the other finger as well. <laughs> I, I quite often wear two. <laughs> one where I'm pushing inwards oh, and the other the one place. where I'm going to be pulling outwards. Oh. And, um, and honestly, I'm on the same ones. Like oh, they last, they last, they last, they last. Them and stick them back on the back I and did. just use them again and again and again. Gem, I did an entire quilt and didn't get through a whole pack. No. Right, so then, so then, so then, I'm going to... What is the sticky stuff on the sticky thimble? Does it last well? Yeah. Yeah, they're like... They're I don't cool. know what the sticky stuff is. Shall I grab a packet? Pretty we'll awesome. Look. I can throw you this they're packet if with. you want. Oh, yeah, this is true. I could just come and... Don't mind me. <laughs> um, right. The sticky thimble's the other one, isn't it? With the metal thing. Give that a quick press. And I just wanted to show you, I've like, I kind of mapped this out in the instructions. Mm. And actually, it really doesn't matter what order anything goes in because it's all rather beautiful. It really doesn't matter. But if you're trying to be consistent, I mean, we're always trying, right? I'm very trying, I get told. Um, then let's have a look and, and just start to map it so that is going to be that side so i will need to make that this one and i do you know what i just i'm pretty rough with it really so line glue pen ah i'll do it that way Have I just done this completely the wrong way? I don't know. Have I? Have I? Have I? <laughs> you will have the instructions in front of you. You will have the instructions. Unlike Natasha, who does not. <laughs> and is relying on her memory when she's clearly addled with thoughts of the egg pan being switched No, you see, that's the wrong way around. I've just done it exactly the wrong way around. Do you know what I've just told you all <laughs> not to do? Don't do that. No, I didn't <coughs> put it fluffy side down. Oh, oh no, you've got to put it you've fluffy side down. You've got to put it fluffy side down. I always think like Velcro. You want the fuzzy yeah. side to go yeah, to your yeah. fabric so that it's, so, you know. So, fluffy side is up there, which is exactly the way round that you want to do it, because the fluffy side is going to be yeah. against the fabric. Yeah. But I forgot to, in my in my moment there, to actually put the fluffy <laughs> side <laughs> down onto said fabric. Do as I say, not as I'll I never do. do as I do, for goodness sake. It is right in the pattern, It is right in the pattern. 
the ultra thimble it doesn't say what the adhesive doesn't is made it. of no but did you uh did we get an opportunity to wave one of these around no the stick your hand you in got one, had you? stick your hand in there it is wave it that's around the, that's the pal that's the one i'm just using my fingers so i'm putting a little line of glue onto there so line glue was developed specifically for thank you gemini there we go so we can see it you get a little metal thimble so it's that one that I want for the next bit. And you get the extra adhesives as well. You can buy those separately, can't you? The little yeah, adhesive yeah. patches. Oh, yeah, we stock those. We do. we do. We do. We do. We're quite good like that, aren't we? That, you know, almost just like, that. you know, we stock all the stuff. Well, we try. And when we can get these things in, because certain things that come from America, of which these are one, Gosh, they can a take a while, hole. you know. I'm going to say it, Jen. It can be a good old faff, can't it? All lake. <laughs> Ooh. I'm calling it. Oh, I can just feel SJ sat there with her head in her hands. I know. Eh? But it's true. Honestly, it's had me with my head in my hands at times. But blimey. Blimey, blimey, blimey. Hopefully, captions will call that something completely different. Well, I haven't got captions on, so... So we'll never know. Answers on a postcard, guys. <laughs> Tell us what <laughs> it said. Likes it just for a bit of fun, <laughs> didn't she? She does. Uh -huh. And the messages frequently to tell me what it says. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. So then we know that these ones here are all going to be this base one. So we can take those off immediately, if not sooner, and do those all out of this one. Is this making sense? Beautiful. Is it, Jim? Is it making sense? Do you know what I really love about EPP possibly the most? What? Is, apart from the fact that it means I can sew when I don't have my sewing machine, mm. And actually, a lot of the time when I'm away in the caravan, I don't even sew. I just sit making hexes and sit covering hexi forms. I just love it. Bit of glue, scissors, and in the sunshine, you know, it's just fab. But the thing that I love the most is when you're making something and you've got your beautiful fabric and you've got this size bits of fabric left mm -hmm. and you're looking at them and in your Loving head you're me. thinking, I want to keep Loving it because it's me. beautiful. Yeah. But in reality, it's not a usable piece. It's all usable. Suddenly, it all becomes usable. All usable. And it, you can make something out of all these scrappy pieces, and it can be absolutely stunning. We need to load some more scrap bags. Yeah, we do. Um, in fact, I know that we can do at can least do 20 scrap bags. There we, we go, then I can do it now. now. Oh. Oh, I can, again, I can feel SJ going, hang on, I'd have liked those for my Friday newsletter. Well, yeah. But sorry, lovely, you're not here. So you snooze, you lose, we're loading them now. <laughs> yeah, and we don't get cake today because you're no. not here, No, she was supposed to come she in, guys. She was supposed to come in. Hey. I know, she had I a better offer. Know. She did have a better, <laughs> a better offer. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you know what, I'm going to take that off my finger for now because I'm going to get glue on it otherwise. Um, <clears throat> and so it builds up. And I'm not going to apologise for this taking, well, I'm, I probably will apologise for this taking a little bit of time, but, um, Gemma, you shouldn't have got through your story quite so quick. I mean, I can I you expand. Could have, you could have spun that out for a bit longer. <laughs> I can expand. Oh, well, we'll just have to have done. everyone talk amongst themselves for a bit. Yeah, it's fine. Whilst I just... Um, I'm sorry, I'm Natasha, are you doubting side? our ability to think of random things to talk about? No, never. <laughs> When's that ever happen? Never, never, <laughs> never. Here we go go scrap bags incoming everybody mm. um there's something else you got me to set live for today as well that might need a camera i forgot about that <laughs> that might need a camera oh so okay so <laughs> that so, might need so, a pause so, so. in proceedings yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um as a lot of you guys know we um we do advent calendars a labour of love it is. They are a labour of love. So our advent calendars are, as Gemma says, indeed, a labour of love. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to keep on love doing Love for you guys. Way. Yeah, because you've supported us throughout the year um, and we like to give you a bit of love back. That would be true. Certainly do. Yeah. And that is what our scrap bags are. A little labour of, not scrap bags, our advent calendars are. They are a little labour of love. And... We launched them shortly after Christmas this year, didn't we? We did. Uh, for a limited time. And now we have actually worked out how many we can do and ordered the stuff, what's going in them. 
So they will be sent out earlier this year. A you lot earlier. A lot yeah. earlier. Because I know that some of you were like, oh, but I want to send them on. Where are mm -hmm. they? And we really took that on board and went, you know, actually, yeah, we hadn't realised that so many of you would be buying them for other people. That's on us. So, and excuse me, I just finished off cutting around here. Um, so what we've done this year is we're selling them earlier so we can get them out earlier. Yeah. And our, it's fair to say, our advent calendars, they, yeah, they've got all, well, they've got, because they're made by us, they've got all the stuff that we would want in there, <laughs> like really handy stuff that hopefully you're going to use. And the value on them is phenomenal. And um, so we really hope that you are going to love them. You did last year. We had such a positive response to them. It was really lovely. Hugely, so yeah. they are, for a limited time, back up on offer. And there's only so many that we can make, by Absolutely. the way. And we are halfway through that yeah. number. And it's May. We're a small team. And these are hand-wrapped by us individually. Yeah. I mean, we had... Oh, we had everyone. My mum was here last year wrapping Your mum came, my she? friend Anna came. Yeah. I just, I'd not long started seeing yeah. Ian at that stage. And, and he was just like, you're still there. I'm like, yes. yes. And I just showed him a video of all of the boxes yeah. all laid out. And I'm like, mm. I've got to put 20 odd, 20 odd mm. gifts in every single one of these and make sure that they are correct. And he's like, And they were packed by you because we yeah. needed to sort of, if the, if everyone's on them, they could have been. No, you can't. Uh, so we, yeah. So everybody wrapped. Yeah. And then I sent everybody home. Yeah. And I just went through and I made sure. And yeah, I got it wrong because I was absolutely <laughs> exhausted and I worked through the night to do it. But but, but <coughs> not as many as I thought actually were. No. Were no. wrong. Um, and we put it right. So it's, you know, there we go. Uh, but 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 but. So we that are is the thing. Well we're going to start way ahead. Way ahead of the curve this year. Way ahead. Way ahead. So that's that's that. So if you are interested, just grab them because they and it, don't, it broke our hearts last year because there were quite a few people that were just so. D John Cole Morgan was one of them, oh, weren't you, sir? Who was. was really heartbroken. They missed morning. out on an advent calendar, yeah. and we don't want that to happen. So mm -hmm. when we say that we'll offer them for a little while longer, but it's not going to be, you know ongoing throughout the entire year and because of where we've had to source stuff yeah. from this year i can't can't get hold of more than we've got like i've yes. i've thrown my hat over the wall yeah and gone this is how many we're going to do this yeah. year and we we won't we won't be able to source that because it just takes months to get some of these brilliant pieces in so you know we've said america and everywhere and have just them made. Nightmare, isn't it? you yes. know that's the other yeah, thing we've had things made and for if, these. especially if they're coming from away yep you know, that also takes a bit of planning. And some of these things are going to be quite fabulous and, uh, yeah, on brand, aren't they? Ah, oh, they're <laughs> just making colours! <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we are really excited about them, but we just hate when you're disappointed. So, yeah, get your name down. <laughs> hurrah, hurrah. If your name ain't down, then you're not. I haven't won. Oh, I know. Uh, Lowe's so, so on page with me. Eight months till Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was saying this to SJ. Eight months, it'll be Boxing Day. So, you know, it, we've not got long. All those Christmas makes, guys. <laughs> I'll be rolling out the Christmas makes before you, I think. They'll be me with some Christmas make going, Tash, we're going to put this to her. And she'll be like, what? <laughs> I'm not having my summer holiday yet. What you want about, woman? <laughs> I think you can do it while I have my summer holiday, aren't you? I, uh, yeah, I will do. You've, I know that you've already started planning. <coughs> Jane uh -huh. and I are elfing all over the place with this. We've been planning for ages. <laughs> the crazy Christmas they show have. while you're off. They have. They <laughs> so, have. yes. I dared to say I might have a week in August. Yeah. And, uh, and they went, great, we'll do Christmas. <clears throat> we'll have done Christmas before then. <laughs> we won't be able to hold off till then, me and Jane. Ali says she saves her EPP for the caravan as well. They so relaxing. Have. And a lot of the time it is what you're doing now, cutting fabric, making my hexes. And actually, I've got a lovely box. I have them all lined up and there's nothing more beautiful than seeing prepped hexes. Oh, I bet you, I bet you've got them all in <coughs> colour order. And yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course you have. Yeah. And then when you come to sew, it's pick and sew and pick and sew and they're all if, there. Yeah, but if you're doing it, if you're doing it like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. A project like this is planned out differently. Meticulously. Um, 
but I just always have a really good stash of hexiforms in. And when my stepdaughter, who doesn't sew and is not interested it slightly in sewing, when she's over, I will sit, throw her some fabrics and a pair of scissors and my glue pen, and she'll sit chatting to me with a gin and tonic quite often. I mean, she is 18, I'm going to point that out. Um, but she'll sit there making hexes for me. How is she 18? She's surely still I know, eight. it's crazy. And she'll pop them all in the box in colour order because she's quite, Easy. you know, she loves organized. the aesthetic of Say that. Say organised. And it's lovely because it's something we can do together when she's no interest in sewing. And then when I make something, she's there like, which ones did I make? And I'll say, Aww. the wonky ones, and she laughs. But it's, you know, it's not true. She does a lovely job <laughs> of them. The wonky ones. But, you know, we were in the caravan and I've got cushions and she'll be like, I made those. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you stuck the hexes. But yeah, we did it together. And it's just great. It is, it's finding that. Um, and, and my mum's done the same with me. She doesn't really sew. I think... I think this is the problem. So my mum doesn't really say because her mum was a seamstress, so she would just always do it. Yeah. So whenever there was, you know, a costume that needed making for school or anything else or a tutu or anything, my grandma just made it. Yeah. Amazing. Um, when I was Daddy Bear in the school play <laughs> because I was the, the tallest. tallest child. <laughs> that obviously hasn't scarred me at all. Oh, um, dear. You know, it was grandma that had to step in and sort that out. <laughs> and um, good old grandma. I yeah. miss my grandma. Yeah. But, but these are all the memories. These are all the sewing based memories. My mum occasionally says to me, mm. She'd be so proud of you. And I'm like, Pfft, really? <laughs> but that is, that's the thing, isn't it? You pass yeah. on these skills. And I used to, oh, she taught me to knit. I can only knit one pearl one, but she did teach me. I really hope, go. you know, going forward that, you know, they will show a bit more of an interest in crafts and sewing, but. It's. I think my daughter will. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's one of those things you either take to or you don't. I started to lace make at the age of four. I could lace make at the age of four. And only because I had a teacher. Gorgeous. My primary school teacher was a lace maker. And actually, the, the patterns that you can do with lace. Is anybody else interested in lace making? We could oh, do that on the just show. Just divine. Would, just you like, would you like I'd to learn? I'd love to learn. Would you? Yeah, of course. Anybody else like to learn <coughs> how to lace I feel like make? I'd like to do that as a weekend true retreat type thing. Ooh, Can you imagine? That. Oh, it'd be gorgeous. Um, Helen's asking if the scrap bag's alive yet. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <coughs> also, Jenny, Jenny Totterdale's here and she hi, says... Hi, Jenny! Oh, I see. She says, woohoo, just finished piecing my festival of quilts entry. Yay! How exciting is that? Can we see, can we see, can we see? Well, we clearly want to see. I don't know whether we can see, but wow. Bravo. It would be nice. It would be nice. And Margaret's saying, have we a guest designer takeover on Friday? Oh, yes, so we have. Now, we're having a little reshuffle on things because yeah. um, not all of our guests can do Fridays, it turns out. So uh, what we decided to do, and nobody really knew when our pay it forwards were going to be. Yeah. So what we've decided to do, and it made sense to us, is to have guest designers in Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday as oh. and when worked for them. Because you've yeah. got more chance, haven't you, with, with three days worth of slots sure. rather than um, just one a month. And so what we've decided to do is make the pay it forward projects the last Friday every month. So that has a destination. It has a home. It has a home. The home of Pay It Forward. we have been absolutely blown away by the response to our Pay It Forward projects and the number of people. In fact, where have we got the, the letter we have from the Donkey Sanctuary? Yes. The Donkey Sanctuary sent us a lovely, lovely letter because we bundled up all of the donkeys that you sent us back and we sent them all to the Donkey Sanctuary. They're now in the Donkey Sanctuary shop being sold to raise money for the donkey sanctuaries and um, donkey sanctuary and I was keeping this for Friday. I know, I know. I, I, will, I will say it again. I was on keeping Friday. it for Friday. I will say it again on Friday. But it <laughs> says, dear friends, thank you so much for featuring felt donkeys in your December 2021 make. We really appreciate the lovely felts that you sent to us, made by your viewers. Each item sold means that more and more donkeys can receive the love and care they deserve. Donkeys just like Tommy and Timmy. Tommy and Timmy. Guys, I would like to introduce you to Tommy and Timmy. <laughs> there they are, Tommy and Timmy. Oh, it's like Jack and Ori, this, isn't it? <laughs> Tommy and Timmy, 
such lovely donkeys. And I can't believe what an awful start they had to life. I don't know the story of Tommy and Timmy. No, I know. I'm not sure I really want to. Clearly sad. They have overcome so much and are getting on so well now. I don't know if you know, but donkeys pair bond. So you have to have donkeys in pairs. You do? I, yeah, Gert and Daisy are our donkeys. And we've had those for over 20 years. In fact, they're actually, they're actually my mum's. But I love because they so live much. for donkeys years, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're actually written into her will to come to me. Thanks, Mum. If I had what room, I I'd have them. To. I love uh, them so much. You can have good days, that's fine. It's a, it's, a, it's a source of great horror to you that they are my favourites. I know. <laughs> you have beautiful I've got, horses. Like, beautiful Arabs, thoroughbreds. <laughs> this one loves the donkeys. <laughs> I love they them have, so much. All oh, right, all right. They've overcome so much and getting on so well now. But that only happens thanks to supporters like you. Tommy is turning into a real character and is often one of the first donkeys to make himself heard at breakfast time. My neighbours love it when my donkeys make themselves heard at breakfast time, dinner time, any kind of time. Um, it sounds like an awful asthma attack. Uh, we can see that years of walking on overgrown hooves has taken its toll on his joints, but he is coping well and still really enjoys being out in the fields. Timmy is fine too. He is the smaller one in the photo. And it amazes me how well he coped when the farrier last visited. Your help and support really improves these donkeys' lives and means that their future is safe and secure. Thank you for making happy endings like this possible. Yours sincerely, Rose Huxham. And she's the community fundraising officer. So there we go. So nice to have a letter. It is it? lovely to have a letter. We love yeah. our Pet It Forward. In fact, we've got a whole folder of Pet It Forward projects. <coughs> um, um, yeah letters that you send us and some of you send us one every month and it's really lovely and we'll always look forward yeah. to them and i'm really hoping patricia that when the grandchild does arrive we get a photo in with oh, yes yeah right yes yes yeah. um because otherwise i might cry yes. <sighs> nobody wants me to cry no. it's not pretty no, it's really cry. not wow really not <laughs> i know <laughs> Gemma has mopped me up on the odd occasion. I have. <laughs> God, Tashi really ugly ball. cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I like me cry. Um, <laughs> I don't know who ever manages to. My daughter has also inherited my ugly crying abilities. Oh, she's phenomenal. She's she's on that's so a many levels. Crumply face, isn't it, when it starts? Wow. <laughs> and you can just see her winding herself up to it as well. Like, yeah. it's not even authentic crying. It's like, this might get me some attention type crying. Hyperventilating, yeah. the whole shebang. All of that. She is. And I'm like, mm. I have told yeah. her she's got to work at that because I know when she fakes cries. <laughs> is that harsh? It's she's just how really. quickly it'll turn off if you say the right thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, it's so funny. Oh, she can cry as quick as pee, that one. <laughs> I mean, she really can. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful thing. That was my grandma saying. <laughs> That's Skip brilliant. I love Quite that. As quick as pee. Is this the grandma that had all the good sayings? She had all the good yeah. sayings. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah, Was that yeah. the one with the bad tenant? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. whenever she would <laughs> let go of any kind of excess gas, she would always say, an empty room is better than a bad tenant. <laughs> and that is banded around a lot. Yeah, especially in this office. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. So, let's... Okay, for those of you that do... I, I know that the non-hand sewers have been... It would be fair to say, quite vocal this morning. Yeah. That's okay. We salute you. That's fine. Um, I can't pretend that I hand sewed this because oh, I didn't. Uh, and that would be a lie. However. However, however. Oh, no, it hasn't gone through. Um, what I would say, Gem, I think I've broken this. Oh. Having it just stuffed in the pot. Which is a shame. Because it's generally fabulous. Oh my gosh, um, so fabulous. <laughs> but luckily today I have my glasses on, which means that... This I'm was one of the EPP essentials that uh, you got me to add to my kit. Yeah, when it works, it's great. I had it with me at Craft Club last no, month. No, do you know what it is? It's that like I've got ridiculous... What size needle is this? Oh, come on, <coughs> that was never going to go through. <laughs> Not with... I've got some... Oh. Did you pick up silly needles? Yeah, obviously. Aww. Obviously. It's sauce, you said that aren't silly size. No chance. Oh, this is better. Here we go. Actually stand a chance with this. Um, what were we saying? Uh, oh yeah, empty room is better than a bad tenant. Yeah. Got that one. Oh, there you go. First time. Bingo. That's how it should happen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. So, uh, I am going to do that thing of awkwardly trying to sew uh, in the close-up 
Don't judge. Until he's fine. Family. You're amongst friends. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me. This is your um, tribe. Right. Here we go. So they will go together like that. Ta -da. So you're going to put them right sides together. Now, if you are a pro, or if you have, if you don't want, if you don't want to have too much hand grip, you can always clip. Okay. Now, when you start at the edge here, you are just going to go through the folded fabric. You don't want to go through anymore. Now. There are various different ways in which you can do that. You could have knotted that before you started. Perfectly acceptable. I'm not going to be judgy, judgy, EPP -er. Like Do whatever the hell you want, really. Just make it pretty. Um, but for me, I tend to lie that tail there and then stitch it into so it just gets covered and held. Can you see? And you will feel, if you go through your hexiforms, just go through the folded bit of the fabric. And you see that tail's not, not going to come loose because it's held into there. Now, you see, this is where I need my little thing on because I just pushed that through there. Whoops. Get everything caught up on everything because obviously yeah, on air doing it. <laughs> um, there we are. And you just whip stitch your way along. And try not to get it caught everything every time because again, doing it on air. Can we see? Is that all? Oh, I know if I'm look. on if I'm on the big telly, then I'll we'll probably be all right. Um, and that and when you have that actually. If I'm doing that normally where it should be for me, it doesn't it doesn't catch because it's just it's just there. And the other things to bear in mind is not to take like a massive, massive piece um, of thread that you're gonna be, you know, doing some kind of arm stretching work out. Because that's just ridiculous too. And you can trim off the old dog ears if you wish, it's no problem. Um, but you will soon be whizzing along, having a lovely time. Well, I'm assuming I'm everyone can that. see your stitching, although Claire Angelina has said that she loves the cable knit <laughs> on your arm. <laughs> oh, thanks. There we go. So at least that's, you know, satisfying. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I have uh, actually come coordinating with my sewing machine today. Yes. Carol Shepherd says, I would avoid hand sewing like the plague. My late husband would say I had stumps for hands as I would never sew a button or tear. Since sewing, I now love EPP and hand finishing. Makes them look beautiful and it's so relaxing sitting sewing. Thanks for the inspiration. You can see, and if you are someone that doesn't want to see their stitches or is worried about seeing their stitches, what I would say to you is get variegated thread. <laughs> Sylph saying, excuse me, but didn't she say no hand sewing? Right. I'm just going to show you both. Nothing I'm going to show you both. Chill because, chill, because, 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 because. <laughs> the other way, Sylph, is with this, right? <coughs> and so instead... You put yourself on a zigzag. I go two or 2.2 stitch length. I butt your pieces like so. And I would use the foot that I've got on is sort of clear, but with a guide for where the middle is, because you want to know where that middle is. Get your foot down. And you just zigzag. And you can actually chain piece, which sounds wrong. <laughs> and this is where, you know how much I love my Billy Beast? This is why I also need the DX or A, another machine, because I would not, whoops, be able to do this. No. At all. I've just got to check. I've just taken that off there and I've just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> And Lovely. I just need to check that I'm just sewing the right bits together. <coughs> if you've got... <coughs> oh, how many of you have got all the pieces? Is there? Well, they're lovely, aren't they? Oh, um, gorgeous. If you've got a little dog's ear that's getting in your way, I then tuck the other dog's ear underneath and it just sort of holds everything together. 
Patricia's with us. She says, I love hand sewing and I'm sat watching you whilst hand quilting an alphabet quilt for my upcoming granddaughter's arrival in oh. May. So it is, it's like May. And we're nearly in May now. Yes. It's very exciting. Yes, yes, yes. We're yes, really yes. excited for you, Patricia. Very, very excited. We can't wait to hear. Uh, Sylve's given us an update on the, uh, on the auto um, oh, good. captions. Yeah. She says, Natasha, no chance. Captions, Oh, Charles, what oh, kind Charles. of show have I jumped into here? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, stumbled into uh, a very different version of Natasha Makes. Yeah, but you see, I'm just going to stitch those together. Um, sometimes, Gem, when I rush, and this will surprise you that I rush sometimes. I mean, never, surely. I know. And, and instead of natashamakes.com, I have been known... I'm just stitching so those two now. And you can't really see the stitches, right? You can't really, not that much. Um, I have been known to put up www.natashamails.com. Oh, it's a different website altogether, right? Well, I, I've never actually looked. Um, but yeah, I would, I'm going to say I suspect so. So you see how quickly this is now coming together? No hand stitching. Every now and again, Facebook hides a comment and I'm like, why? Why? Lovely Julia said, our neighbours have a donkey now. Love hearing him. The dogs aren't so sure. Neither are their horses. Facebook thought that wasn't okay. <laughs> she said no comment. So I've, I've brought that one back. <laughs> how very, how, yeah, I know. Facebook's a funny I old beast, know. isn't it, sometimes? It really is. Um, Found a load of our products offensive. Did so, it? Yes, it did. Oh, crikey. Um, so, is that like on a general review? Well, and this is the thing. SJ said, right, it, it's probably ones where it mentions the word needle or something like that. No, no, just really random all over the place. So, yeah, <laughs> we won't be publishing our products to our Facebook feed quite so often. It'll be very selectively and they'll probably still find it offensive, you know. And yet some of the things that people post on Facebook I find hugely offensive. Yeah. Pam says she'd love to learn how to make lace. And Elizabeth Krangle says, I have some of the lace making bobbins and I'd love ah! to learn. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Jenny says, sorry, no pictures of the quilt until the show opens, which is fair enough. Festival of quilt entry. Best okay. of luck there. And Kath also says that lace making would be fantastic. Yay. Some bit of donkey love. Sylv says they're adorable. Um, we do love a good donkey. Yeah, we do. One of mine managed to get herself locked in the yard last night. Oh. Whilst the other was running free. Um, I don't know why, but she made herself heard and known. Bless you. I did click the mute button just in time. Because <laughs> oh. I sneeze like a fairy. <laughs> you sneeze like a fairy. That little squeaky sound. I would really like to know what reference point you have for... I sound like Tinkerbell. You know, the fairy dust and she sneezes and falls down the stairs. No, you don't know. Should I? Oh, Lo says it hides a lot of her comments and she's no idea why. Lo, yours no, are well, the only comments that I understand why they've hidden them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't, don't get it. What? Hey, what? Julia says that she can't possibly spend time hand sewing because her husband would then question the point in spending how much on a sewing machine. Well, there you go. Do it, Bob. Do it on the machine then. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. And within minutes, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't work. <laughs> Let's try again. Yay! There we go. Lo thinks we, this, this ver version, this method, looks a lot more relaxing. Right, yeah. <laughs> Through the machine, it's done. <laughs> bish bash bosh, right? It works. Um, and look, I've done an entire front and look how much I've got left. Oh, so beautiful. you've got enough for the back absolutely for sure or you could always just do strip pieces on the back yeah that'd be if you nice want too. Like, it, it depends whatever you want to do we've got instructions for this haven't we Yay. and then so i did it in columns and then just stitched on the columns like show and i need to stitch this down because otherwise i don't have a front to work with you need a front i need a front I've got a bit of front, Jim. Got a bit of front. Always. <laughs> oh yeah. Plenty of that. We are very limited on the number of kits that we could make with the Odile. 
because um, it was the last tiggy 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 bits but I've been meaning to do some EPP with Odeo stuff for a long time well, and now those when you come to change direction mm -hmm. just spin it needle uh, foot up spin it and away you go again so I try and do sewing the columns together in a one. And if you've got, you'll always have, this is the beauty of, the, of this one, is that you'll always have a straight side where there are no joins. Put that one on top. And it just looks much, much neater. Ask me how I know. <laughs> And just make sure that your threads and whatnot are just pushed behind if you've got any spare threads. I used to feel really guilty about machine stitching, EPP, but since I found hexaforms, I'm like, nah, that's absolutely fine. Not prepared to feel guilty anymore. And then... It just opens up a whole new world, doesn't it? It really does, it really does, and it means that I can do entire bags really quickly too. Now these pouches I rather love. I really want to see one made with the Little Ducklings fabric in the, oh, in the well, Bat Ace bundle. Oh well wouldn't that be it'd be such a nice gift to give that mat, um, but with a, 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 pouch. a pouch like that to be able to put you know, wipes and things in it, it'd just be great, wouldn't it? Yep. And you can always box the bottom of it if you want. Yeah, of course. Of course you can. Maybe it's I a nice size one. pouch just to have in your, uh, in your uh, change bag. Well, I was thinking about what I'm going to use mine for, and it would fit um, all sorts of different things in, like, there would be tech pouch bits or? of tech, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, that I could pop in there. I've got a but then you said, pouch. why don't you just use it to put your EPP right, stuff exactly. in? And I was like, oh, that's such a great idea. Or just have your EPP bits in. But I've got a similar size pouch that I have in my um, in my case, don't I, that I carry, that I've got all my cables in. like Because you do, yeah, you have USB carry. cables and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I keep meaning to do something on the cable front. But you know, it's, it's the best thing because you used to rummage around and trying to find all your cables and those cable tidies the sally tomato ones are brilliant but putting all of those in there so that because i've got lots of different cables you know different things need different charging ends don't they yeah they do I've got lots of different devices but yeah i'll put my little mini mouse in as well in that pouch wireless mouse what about mickey <laughs> oh i'd love to go and see mickey and minnie don't start me off you know i love disney Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Laura, I need to have a look at that. I need to find it again. Um, this now is your front. Dun -ka -dun. Um, and what you're going to do, I'm just going to clear the way a little bit, Gemma Clear the way. Oh, hang on. Look, we've still got all of these. So these, you've, yeah, you've probably got enough for another front there, if you wanted, and certainly in a fabric. Right, so what you need to do now is <laughs> I keep finding little bits everywhere. Someone's going to have a lovely uh, scrap bag, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Use my mat and just measure. Okay. Um, and the reason I do that is so that I can then do my my lining fabric exactly the same size as that so I made a right old mess over here jim that won't surprise you will it no no never no. <coughs> never a surprise no and that's fine give this a quick press so this is the tilda red it's 
we've got some that come really close but then when you put it with an actual Tilda Red mm. it's like oh there's a close, softness but no there? cigar mm. yeah there's a softness there and also same quality of fabric yes and all Okia Tech's Doobly Doobly Rotsy Flips Doobly Doobly Rotsy Flips yep excellent yeah I'm so glad you have all the correct terminology Natasha I've got all the words all the words they just don't always come out in the correct order nope ever if I'm honest <laughs> like to be honest best policy you know do you know what saves a bit doesn't it um so you have plenty 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 to do this round whichever which way you wish or see fit. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Get, whoops, get rid of the salvages. And then I'm just always with this, just lining everything up so that it sits really nicely underneath. And there we go. You know, I didn't get gem, and that's extra zippage. Extra zippage? Do you need some? Well, I'm going to need a zip. Oh, do I? Hang on. Have you got I a bit squirreled away? Well, I've got odds <laughs> and bits. <laughs> uh, well, you know, little ends that aren't quite... I might need a zip pull. I don't know if I've used them all up now in this. What shall I go with? What did we put? We put that one in, didn't we? Look, I've got some. I've got some of the actual one. But I am going to need a... Um, <laughs> did we go with rose gold in the end? Did, didn't we? I'm going to need a rose gold pull. Yeah, we can do that for you. Oh, Leslie, you're very welcome. I got so excited ordering the advent calendar, I forgot to put the free half metre code in. Oh, Just picked yes. up and you'd already sorted it. Thank you. Definite old lady moment ganging up on me. Eggs, donkeys, advent, happiness overload. <laughs> I mean, what's we a girl to do? We all have those moments. What is a girl to Not do? Not an old lady moment. It's just an excitement moment and we can all acknowledge that that is a thing. Yeah. Do you know what else we're going to acknowledge as a thing? The fact that I need some sort of interfacing and I wonder if I can use any offcuts. I do like to use an offcut wherever possible. Yeah, there we go. Um, if you are just, you know, some H640 or whatever for your, for your interfacing. Thanks, my love. Beautiful. Uh, now, Gem, we had a rather lovely delivery yesterday, didn't we, of all the fabulousness, which is the wash-away tape. Oh, yes. You want one of those as well? Um, just to flash around. Yeah. I use this all the time. Um, it's one of my go-tos, and on the instructions, it's on the nice-to-have, not essential. It's For me, it's become an essential, if I'm honest. And the other thing that I use all the time is this. I think we've got some kits of these, but I'll check with Gemma whether or not they're loaded. So if you're using a zip on a roll, and again, Lisa Lam, absolutely, absolutely full, um, full credit to her for showing me this. The thing that I then found was that I couldn't keep finding her video. It took me ages to find it. So that pops in there, all facing the back. And in, we jolly well go. Hang on, have I got that around the right way? No, it's the other way around. That goes in a flat bit to the bottom. This is why you need the instructions with it. <laughs> there we go. And then you feed that in, into there like that. And how easy is that? Anyone how satisfying that, has, that sound. <laughs> yeah, it's really satisfying. And anybody that has ever struggled. Oh, I have. I was nearly Just, in tears. Yeah, and we've, have we got those loaded? <laughs> I'll double check. Yeah. Um, this is a new size that we've got in. 10 metres, isn't it? About yeah. 10 metres on 10 there. 10 metres. Um, and that's, that's what we have. Now, the next thing to do here is, is, is to pick one of the fabrics and we're just going to create a faux end on each of these. So, I'm standing on everything, Jim. <laughs> right old mess going on down here. How wide is that? Two and a bit. Okay, okay. I've got this. It's all good. Just to Nina, as soon as you use a zip on a roll, you are, in my humble opinion, 
going to want to make a an end so that it just doesn't go flying off everywhere when you're using it. And um, <coughs> you've got all your measurements and your pattern for this. And what I would do is, 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 like you're making your binding, fold it in half. Now, if this is too, if you're too, if it's too small for you to do with your fingers, <coughs> with an iron rather, then you can always just use a little seam roller. They're quite good. And we've got those in stock now. We have. Um, but if you do want to use your iron, then of course you can. But please, obviously, be careful of your fingers when you do so. Fold. So what we're doing is folding, fold and press in half, and then fold your raw edges into the middle, like so. Okay. This is then going to, oh, we need to straighten that up. Paper scissors. Ooh. Yeah, this is why so you use always your get, on yeah, no, and this is why you always get a little bit more because you will be trimming it back. Yeah. Um, there we go. And then just pop that over like so. I always do these bigger than needed. There we are. And then we're just going to stitch across. Oh. Helps if you then put it on the correct stitch. And it also helps. Stage right comes the quilter's tape. Yep. Huh? <laughs> Lizzie Crangles put stage right comes the quilter's tape. I know yeah, it must yeah. just look odd when my hand just appears. In, In it, comes. it comes. Yeah. Um, Lo has these um, towel holder dobbies stuck everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> yeah, they're just the best. They are absolutely the best. But it is a specific shape, shape, uh, specific shape that works. Yeah, yeah, it is. And so I have tried with one I already had. No, nope. I have to say the price of them has rocketed. I think we've pushed the price up. Do you reckon? <laughs> I reckon. Oh gosh, soz. Um, right. We've made them, as Inga would say, poplier. Poplier, yeah. So then you are going to cut that the width of your pouch. Whoops. Possibly in a straight line. And then, oh, Gemma, what have you done? Oh, you nana. What a nana. So this gives me the perfect opportunity to demo it <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> what a banana. What a complete banana. Flat base to the bottom. Open it up. <laughs> oh, no. But it shows. Anyone who ever was... suggests we're not professional? No. I mean. But it just goes to show that it was not a freak. A slash fluke. It is absolutely, it works. that is the way to do it. It works. What a banana. Don't do that, because you look a right old idiot. Possibly well, this has given friends. everyone a giggle. Oh, Sylve, shush, shush. Sylve's just said, this would look lovely with Liberty Scraps. Now, there's a story to that. So um, Natasha made the original one in Odile and said, we'll do a Liberty colourway as well. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, we should. However... I do think we need to do a Tilda one. It looked fabulous in the Tilda. And then she got sidetracked onto the Tilda and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. So, <coughs> yeah, we, we can do a Liberty one too, potentially. Might look at that. You know. If anyone wants one, just give us a little email. We'd make one up for you. Yeah, no. Yeah. But uh, I get vetoed <laughs> in my own business. I only suggested. <sighs> I was just enthusiastically pointing out that those fabrics would look stunning. And I, do they I not? do get easily swayed. I yeah. know. <coughs> it was any suggestion. Thing is, <laughs> you could do every <laughs> single one in a different in a different one. So if you've got the scraps, <gasps> what about the rainbow seven and a half inch square packs that we've got? Mm. Or the blues, where you could do it just in all in different blues. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So yeah, we have got Liberty Options. squares. We call them applique bundles, but actually... Nothing to stop you using that because you get 24 squares. Ooh. They say they're seven inch squares. They end up being more like a seven and a half by seven Some are seven, some are seven and a half, but yeah. we went with the lowest common denominator. Yeah, we did. We took because, you know, we do Anything that. over seven inch square, which it's been price based on, is a bonus. And actually, they're in a fabulous discount too. 
so. La 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 la. Yeah, you did that one. La la Oh, there you go. She's already got it. She's already got it. She's already. Oh, I did think I was going to get told off. And then I remembered this is you. You never tell me off. Sometimes tough and roll your eyes a little, but uh, I never get told off. Roll <laughs> my eyes a little? Only a smidge. Rightly so. I, I roll my eyes at myself some days. Well, well. But in my defence, everyone loved that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wonder why, Gem. <laughs> Gosh. Right. So what we're going to do now is get our... Much coveted. This is my much used tape. This has been in many a bag, going everywhere. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, and it has been much loved. So, and, and, and. I am going to just take off that thread because it's annoying me. Yep. Run a line of tape along there. Now why do I use Quilters Wash Away Tape? Um, because, because, because um, it is much easier to use than pins when inserting a zip and also, oh look at this zip, it's really beautiful. Um, there we go. So then right sides together, I don't have to have any pins. I was the person that always, always, always pricked myself with all the pins and quite frankly it wasn't funny uh, and I didn't enjoy it so I decided just to not do that anymore um, and that made life a lot easier. And so yeah, there we go. And then you want to run yourself another line of tape. Now with this tape as well, see it's kind of a woven one, because it's um, wash away, which is great, with warm water that will just dispel. Okay, there's my lining piece, so my lining piece is going to go up there, and then sandwich in as well. There we go. Now, look at that little roll. I'm quite addicted to my little uh, seam roller now. And then you want to put your um, your change your foot over on your machine. Whoop. Change the camera angle as well. Okay, right. So, 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 here we go. Pop that one in there. There we are. And then you are going to stitch down. If you want to open up your zip, then you can, or just to move it out of the way, then you can. Uh, and away we go. Whoop. Oops. Oh, foot down. There we go, that's the one. And away we go. So. You can do all of that, stop, and then swivel that around so that your zip pull is out of the way. But if that, if that is a struggle, just put your foot down, do a little holding stitch, and then just move your zip out of the way. Start a couple of stitches back in, no one's going to see, and because it's a... I used to get so stressed about zips and just avoid doing them, whereas actually they are really quite easy. And actually zip in on one side. Now what I would then do is press that away from the zip. Now this is a nylon zip, so you might want to be careful about using heat right next to it. You're right, Gem. Um, if you are worried in any way, shape or form, again, get your little roller out and have a little roll. Because what you want is for your fabric to be away from the teeth. If you're not worried, then 
you know, obviously use your iron, that's fine too. But if you are worried about melting anything or you just don't want to risk it or do a test or anything like that, then use that. Gives us options. And then I'm going to stitch down here. And what this then makes sure of is that that zip can easily slide up and down without getting caught in there. So let's quickly do that. and neat does that look all done so then we're going to do the same to the other side now this time when i'm running my tape oop, 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 this one along here um you would have if you've done your pattern you'd have your pattern both sides i'm just going to go with a plain back because i don't have time to make another one is the honest truth of it I ran out of time. I did have a holiday and I ran out of time. So instead, oh, that needs interfacing properly. Um, I'm just going to and again, that's going to go right sides together there. And then flip it tape on the back and then on that goes and then again you're going to repeat just exactly the same and stitch it down Hurrah! Hurrah, hurrah! Whoops! And trip over my own foot. Is always useful. And just find where that zip is so that it just slots in. I've done it again. I've gone and done a backwards stitch and then caught myself on the edge. Well done, me. And again, I'm getting near to the zip, so I'm just going to just sign off, move it out the way, because, you know, I can actually do that. Back up to where I've just stitched, get that out of the way. Easy, McPeasy. I think anyone that has ever wrestled a zip understands that it's okay to just do that. And so I'm not having to work around pins or anything else. That is the joy of the tape. And then, what will do? See, see, there it is. Neatly in there. And when you, and again, ask me how I know this, Gemma. When you come, to stitch down this side please 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 be careful that you don't take both lining fabrics because that's easily done it is and away you go i've got basket envy today <laughs> Have you? <laughs> I just keep looking at some of the lovely orders that are coming through and I can just see the fabrics working with what you're ordering and, and going, oh, oh, I want oh, those you know what that's gonna, What's going to happen next is that Inga is going to be, uh, so Inga loves packing up your orders because then she'll come occasionally running in and going, she will. look what this person's <laughs> ordered. Doesn't it work really beautifully together? She does. Right, open your zip. She does exactly I've put that. this in shouty, shouty capitals, Gem. 
Open, open your, your zip. zip in shouty shouty capitals. Yeah. Lining right sides together down there, front right sides together. This bit, fold it into the lining. Here we go, and clip it, pin it, do whatever you need to with it. I would if I hadn't buried my clips everywhere. I mean. <laughs> I'd bury a clip. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I'm going to stitch it from the red side because, try as I might, my my this side is slightly wibbly wonky. I know, right? So you can see, now I'm going to stitch my quarter of an inch on from this side. And around I will go. I'm going to pop that as you can see. So this is going to fold into there. How, if you've got a machine that is going to struggle with a few layers, hand crank, just hand crank. Go slow. You don't have to go and this is news to me. Um, apparently, half a leather everything. So Gemma tells me. Auntie Lizzie would like to see the pretty embroidery scissors that are on the Juki, please. <laughs> oh, are these ones? Uh, yeah, because they're just pretty. She just wants to see them. I know, they're really <laughs> rainbow. They are beautiful, they're aren't really they? Beautiful. We had a very limited number of those come they're in. They're all gone. I'm pretty confident, yeah. 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 I mean, if we can get more, but I don't think we can. There was such a... Such a beaut. I think I've got them from one of the shows. If we do manage to get them, we'll, you know, we'll shout, we'll about, shout it. about it. But all over the place. They were very beautiful. And those of you that got them, bravo, because Jane and I were very upset that we didn't get them. <laughs> nah. you, can't have, you can't have too many. You really can't. Now then. Oh, uh, Philip is back with us today. She says, good morning. Yeah. I thought I might have missed you. No. I do think I need that wash tape. Yes, it's you do. Just... It makes life so mm. much easier. It's it's the tools, isn't it? The tools of the trade. You, if you get them, yeah. you then wonder why on earth you just managed why you and struggled. Sort of struggled before. That's the thing. Why have I struggled all my life when I clearly didn't actually need to? Yeah, it makes it makes a massive difference. And I use it for basting all sorts of things. You'll, you'll see me use it all the time. It really is a massive game changer. Oh, Philip is saying, which machine are you using today and what are the beauties of this one? So this is the lovely DX. Uh, this is the DX7. We are, apart from Franklin's Dukey themselves, the only place in the country that they trust to stock refurbished ones of these. True the story. only place. And so you can get these at an amazing price and from they, us. Gary's very clear on this, isn't he? That he feels a little bit awkward about calling them refurbished even because... Some of them have just been at the shows. They've and literally they've been out of the box, on display, for an hour or two, put back in the box, and that's that. Yeah, so there is, yeah, there is that awkwardness of, is it actually a refurb? Yes. They, but they do, but they <clears throat> are good as their word, and yeah. they do re uh, refurbish. They, they go through and they do actually mm -hmm. do all of that so that you will be getting... But some of them, they may have sewn on them for one demo for an hour. And oh, yeah, then, they could be less than that. Yeah. yeah. It, or, or just even that they've just been on a shelf. And because that box has been opened, they, they have to it qualify it yeah. as a refurbished. So but, that's that. And that's what we have. So that's the stock that we have. They are incredibly awesome machines. This shall I shout turning dream. through gap at you? Huh? <laughs> Is this where we shout turning through gap at you? Oh, sugar, yes. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I was too busy enjoying my machine. Yes. And yeah, you know, it's a been, compact, whoops, it's a compact great. enough machine that this one travels with you, doesn't it? You take yeah. this one when you're on that there telly. That there telly. Um, I'm now going to just uh, bear with whilst I just... But it is, you know... Don't get carried away. Do a turning through gap. <laughs> 
That yeah, would be really do great. 20, do, 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 do 23 that. count. Um, <laughs> but this is that portable machine, isn't it, that goes everywhere with you. Jenny says, turning gab. <laughs> she typed that quickly, didn't she? Gab. <laughs> That's the point. She was gabbing. That's why she didn't <laughs> leave a turning through. <laughs> I was exploring the virtues of my beautiful DX7. Exactly. Um, and this is, so this is it. Like, if I had to have, if I had to just have two machines. Claire Angelina says, I change a lot of coat zips. Will the wash away tape help yes. with that too? Yes. Uh, yeah, Auntie Lizzie says, very much so. Yes. Yes, it's game changer. Anybody that has to do anything with a zip, this is this is it. Everyone looking out for you. Did you open the zip? No. Turning through gab. Yeah. <laughs> did open the zip because it did say that in the instructions yeah. it is in Shadow Shadow Capitals. It is. Um, I love the fact that they they they're there. They've got your back. I know, right? It's just that there's a delay on me doing it. And you see, <laughs> it's about thirty seconds, which I is know. the time Enough it takes time for you to forget <laughs> to forget to actually and just proceed past the point of heeding your warnings. <laughs> so thanks for that. Um, <laughs> if you want to uh, snippety snippety, just a D bolt. Do huh? nice. Just helps with the turning through, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't wait. This is a tada moment. We love a tada moment. <laughs> I don't think there's a red I love more in the world than the Tilda red. It's beautiful, it's isn't it? Just, it's just spot on. Classy um, is what it is. Oh, it is. Though, yeah, because some it? reds are orangey. I don't like orangey reds. And some reds. Well, I'm not averse to them in the right circumstance, but sometimes they're just a bit, you know, orangey, loud. Don't know. Shouty reds. Shouty reds. It's an <sighs> elegant red. This one. I'm just going to stuff that in there, not going to lie. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Getting up into those corners of the pouch. Do you want to see it? Oh, gem. Beautiful. I don't know which one I prefer. I just think they're both <gasps> stunning. They both have their place, you know. They do. So that could be front and back. It could. Or, You've got enough you know, in there. You do have enough. Or you can make um, two. Yeah, you could make two. You just need a little bit of extra zip. That's all. Yep. A little bit of extra zip and another Or pull. make a smaller one and use, just get an extra pull and then use what zip you've got left. Oh, you see. You, you could. could just do like a little, a little pouch, a mini pouch. Nesting ones. To go with it. Oh, nesting pouch. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You could do that. I'm spinning myself around looking for the other one. So, here are your two options. If you would like to go for Odile by Earl, or if you'd like to go for Tilda, it's entirely up to you. But they're both right gorgeous. They're right, right gorgeous. gorgeous. And that, dear viewer, is today's show. In a nutshell. And it's not in a nutshell. It's uh, here. In the course of an hour and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Ba -da. Beautiful. Um, Stitchy Witchy Wednesday tomorrow, but she's on that there Holly Bobs. She is on that there Holly Bobs. So we're going to do some really easy quilting. We're going to do um, the world's easiest quilt because I've got to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got to make it. Yeah, it's all right. Um, so I will now be cutting up a lot of fabric and sewing it back together, yes. ready for tomorrow. Yes. Um, and yeah it's a really really simple technique but as ever i like to use up every scrap because i'm a bit of a womble yeah and so i'll be showing you what to do with your leftover we don't like waste scrappy bits True story. as well Alrighty. um so i'll see you here tomorrow apologies for not being jane but you know we have to let her go sometimes yes yes Apparently. we do she needs a rest every now and again Apparently. a rest and a recharge although so far she seems to have been to a fabric Shopping. shop and bought fabric yeah <laughs> And then watching here and like buying a, fabric. Like a busman's holiday. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, great. Can you please make sure that you don't miss out on the um, Moda Fat Eights? Yes. Because they are super gorgeous. And that deal is just for today. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, I will see you here tomorrow without Jane, but with Gemma. Yes. Can't have everything. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky, can't have everything. No, Jane. Like, they've got you. 
<laughs> but they're going to have to have oh. me. Uh, so I'll see. Oh, that came out wrong. Sorry. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Consolation prize in the corner. Everyone's here. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Oh, lots Bye-bye. of love. Bye. Bye.